The final question type is your country or society. There are lots of different ways you can talk about your own culture and your own society. And here are two of my favorite ones. The first thing you can do is describe people's behavior. This is actually easier than it sounds. There is, there are. You can see something, verb ing. Another thing you can do is use the passive voice. The passive voice is quite advanced grammar. It's a little bit less common, so it gives you quite a high band score when you use it correctly. This is a great opportunity to use the passive voice. Passive voice has the object first, the be verb, and then the third form, past participle of the verb. Let me show you how you can use this. What kinds of foreign food are popular in your country? There are lots of Chinese and Indian restaurants in every city in the UK, but nowadays you can see more Korean and Brazilian places popping up. Italian food is served in most pubs and restaurants as well. I've used both structures here. There are lots of Chinese and Indian restaurants. You can see Korean and Brazilian places popping, verb ing, popping up opening, being opened, and Italian food is served. That's the passive voice. The passive voice allows you to talk about other people, but you don't have to say them because it's obvious. We know it's being served by waiters and waitresses. We know that. You don't have to say it. The passive voice is high band, complex grammar, so it contributes to your score and should give you a high score. Here's another example. Is it popular to learn English in your country? Students are taught English at school from a young age, and English is used in international offices, so English is already widespread. But you can also see a lot of private language academies teaching kids, teenagers, and adults too. So here, these examples just come from my experience, things that I've seen. I use the passive voice first. Students are taught. We know they are taught by teachers, but you don't have to say that. And English is used by the staff in international offices. So I'm describing multiple groups of people with the passive voice. You can also see academies teaching kids. This shows my skill and awareness of the passive voice. I'm using it in an appropriate way, perfectly, to describe my country and my society as a whole. And that's great. I'm talking about the big picture, which is perfect for part three. I'm also supporting my ideas with examples from my own observations, and that is totally relevant. I'm also using a specific structure with a verb ing, which shows my awareness of that construction. So all of this creates a really nice high band part three answer.